In the media, you will learn about the functioning of a typical enunciator. Case 1. Image shows the enunciator circuit in de-energized condition. Case 2. Fault persisting condition. A fault signal from a protection relay is received, that is, the relay contact closes. Relay B gets energized via contact A sub 2. Relay B seals in through alarm reset bus and contact B sub 2. Relay A gets energized via contact B sub 1. Relay A seals in through DC bus, contact A sub 1, and relay contact. Contact B sub 3 energizes the audible bell and it sounds. Contact B sub 3 also energizes the flasher relay F. Flasher relay gives a flashing voltage to flasher bus through alternating on-off contact F sub 1. Lamp L flashes through contact B sub 5 and contact A sub 3. Case 2.1. Acknowledging a persistent fault. On accepting the enunciator signals by pressing the reset push button, Relay B de-energizes. Relay A is still sealed in through contact A sub 1 and relay contact. Contact B sub 2 opens the sealed in circuit of Relay B. Contact B sub 3 de-energizes the flasher relay F and the bell goes off. Contact F sub 1 cuts off the flashing supply to lamp. Contact B sub 4 resets and establishes steady visual indication via contact A sub 3. The lamp indication continues. Case 2.1.1. Fault clears after some time. On natural removal of fault after the operator acknowledges the alarm, the relay contact drops off and opens its contact. Relay A de-energizes. Lamp loses supply due to opening of contact A sub 3. Hence, the lamp goes off. The complete circuit gets back to de-energized condition. Case 2.2. Acknowledging a cleared fault. The circuit will be in the condition as shown in Case 2. On natural removal of fault before the operator acknowledges the alarm, the relay contact drops off and opens its contact. But the relays A and B are in sealed-in condition. And hence, the bell continues to give sound and the lamp continues to flash. Now you press the reset button. Relays A and B de-energize due to opening of reset push button contact. The circuit returns to the de-energized condition as shown in case 1. Bell stops sounding and lamp goes off. Note, by pressing the lamp test push button, the healthiness of the lamps can be confirmed at any time.